Let's go over order of operations with substitution. So first of all, for order of operations, we know PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, or division, then addition or subtraction. So what we have with uh, substitution is, so I'll put some expression with variables. And then we'll be given what uh, these variables represent. Uh, so for example, let x equal 5, y equal negative 2, and z equal 3. So in order to evaluate this, what we should do is substitute these numbers in using parentheses. So this is 3x, so it's 3 times 5. y is negative 2, so we have negative 2 squared. So because it's y squared, the entire value for y gets squared. So it's very important to use parentheses here. Minus 8 times z, which is 3. So now we could evaluate this uh, doing parentheses first. And there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. They're just single values. So we can move on to exponents. So we have negative 2 squared, so we should do this first. So negative 2 squared is going to be negative 2 times negative 2, which comes out to positive 4. All right, now we can do multiplication and division. We just have multiplication. So just multiply each of these individual uh, terms. So 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 4 is 16. And let's take this minus sign with 8 and call it negative 8 negative 8 times 3, negative 24. Alright, now let's just do addition or subtraction, whatever comes first from left to right. So 15 plus 16 is 31, minus 24. And 31 minus 24 is 7. So the key is uh, to substitute using parentheses so that we don't make uh, any mistakes and just follow the regular rules for uh, order of operations.